it? Hang on. Hang on. Blah, blah, blah. How do I go to my own channel? <laughs> Once again, I don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. Would I recognize my own channel if I saw it? What did I just push? No, that's not what I want. Here's what I want. If that'll do it for me. Hey Barb, how you doing? I got one you like. Sweet. Oh, nope, gotta, gotta turn, turn that, that down. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. okay. I, have I have an, an echo. echo. Why, Why do I have, I have an echo? echo? Barb, can, can you hear me okay? There, there that, that should, should fix, fix it. it. Okay. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. Mm -hmm. You were just thinking about, about me earlier, earlier today? today? Yeah. yeah. All, All good, good things, things I, I hope. hope. Something is making noise. Okay. okay. Is, is there, there still, still an, an echo? echo? Let's, Let's see. see. Hang on. How, How about, about now? now? I love, I love the, the fact, fact that we, we have two cameras. cameras. It's, it's so, so much fun. fun. It, was it was good. good. I'm, I'm glad people, people think, think good things, things about, about me. me. All right. Okay, okay so, so the sound, sound is good, good now. now. All right. right. So, so, what's, what's up, up, party, party people? people? How, How we doing? doing? We've, We've got, got this is chain mail wine, wine bottle wrap we're working on, on. But, but we've, we've run, run into, into a bit of an issue. issue. These, these rings here are 18 gauge 316, and these ones here are 16 gauge 516. Still, Still echoing? Alright. Let me Let check, check one, one more thing, thing here. Okay. okay. How, How about, about now? now? Someone, someone tells me there's, there's someone, someone tell me there's, there's no echo. echo. If that's, that's the case, case, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do about that. that. Because well, well to, to be, be quite, quite frank about it, because I don't know what to do about, about it. Because, because as, as always on the show, we don't know what we're doing. doing. Which, Which it's probably, probably one of the best parts. parts. Still. Okay. 
my, my speakers, speakers are off. It's, it's not, not coming, coming from, from my computer. computer. Hmm. All of the sound is down on all of my devices. I don't know what it would be. I don't have an additional... I don't have another input into... Okay, let's... Let's try that. Okay, how is the sound now? Now you can't hear me at all? How, how about, about now? now? <laughs> how, how about, about now? now? Echo gone? gone? Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. interesting. It's, it's, it's all a learning process. process. Apparently. So, thank you for, uh... Were you right? Yeah, one of the devices was the computer. I think is the issue. I don't know why that's happening, but... We don't, we don't know how it works, we're just using it. No, the echo is back. I have an echo on the stream. Okay, can you hear me now? And is there no echo? This is an interesting... This is an interesting conundrum. It's funny, because I've got Twitch and YouTube over here. And so I'll like make a movement here and then I'll see it here and then here. All right. Now it's no echo. Okay. Apparently if there is a, any type of volume on the computer, that will cause an echo. Good to know. Good to know that you got to turn the computer sound off. There's probably there's probably a microphone in the computer picking it up, which you know I th I should have thought of. Excuse me while I burp on camera. All right. So where was I? Before the echo crisis, right? So we're trying to make a bottle wrap and not a standard. Um. Oh, what's the word for it when something is stationary? Right? Not a bottle wrap that is uh, not stagnant. It's uh, static, right? We're not making a static bottle wrap like most of my bottle wraps that will always stay on the bottle. This is going to hopefully have multiple bottles um, and what I mean by that is that you know you'll change change the bottle out and get a new new bottle of wine and put it in so it's less of a wrap and more of a wine bottle carrier yes static thank you Sarah and we've uh, come to a ring size issue last weekend I was working on this trim here and these are 16 gauge 5 16 rings and these are 18 gauge 3 16 right in here and the issue is is that you can't go from European foreign one to interwoven foreign one using these two these two different ring sizes without 
the interwoven foreign one just really bringing in the weave, right? No, I'll, I'll try to demonstrate that here. When we first made this uh, European foreign one piece, these edges almost came together right there, right? But now, right, see that gap right in here? We're gonna have to make up for that somehow. And I tried to make up for it a little bit. I went from 18 gauge 3 16 to 18 gauge quarter inch to 18, uh, 16 gauge 5 16 and that alleviated the problem a lot but it's we're gonna continue to chase this a a wine bottle holster I like that chainmail koozie a wine mead bottle holster yeah hi peg how you doing all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 16 gauge quarter inch interwoven four in one here and bridge it with the uh, similar to how we how I did this with the 18 gauge three sixteenths, 18 gauge quarter inch, 16 gauge five sixteenths. We'll do 18 gauge three sixteenths, 18 gauge quarter inch. 16 gauge quarter inch and hopefully that'll alleviate the problem so we're gonna put this aside for a minute oh, that's the wrong ring size i have a bunch of uh 18 gauge quarter inch rings you've come to see progress how i was doing because you're getting slowly to sleep you're good it's friday night no more work till monday yay hooray for friday I mean, I don't mind putting someone to sleep, but I hope this is somewhat entertaining. <laughs> All right, so to make interwoven four in one, you make a long one in one chain and then zip it up the middle on top and bottom. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Amidst all the confusion, right? I neglected to uh, do the stream share trick that you know we like to do at the beginning of the stream. Let's see here, because if we don't do that, then nobody knows what we're doing, and we're just. Yeah, okay, that's the one. Post. All right, this is called neglecting the audience. I'm so sorry. Don't say hi. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. It's 4 a.m. where you're at? I'm so sorry, dude. Get some sleep, man. <laughs> Sean White has shared your stream. It's interesting because I can't hear the notification. Right? Less talking, more ring. Well, you gotta have a mix of both. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna sit here and just watch a silent video on a live. I don't think. And considering that I am trying to draw attention to myself intentionally, I wanna take as uh, as much of a risk in uh, talking as I can in order to get people to pay attention to me. You're helping people play the game and have fun with it, yeah? All right, so these are really old 16 gauge quarter inch TRL rings. And I uh, have, I don't know, probably 
half a shirt done maybe a third of a shirt that I was working on done but since uh, the ring lord decided that they're not gonna make these rings anymore I'm going to have to find a use for this uh, third of a shirt I've got sitting oh down two tables away and we don't need to make a very big patch to figure out if this is gonna work right so hopefully we'll know here fairly early on in the stream because chasing stuff is fun Windstar is now following thank you for the follow Windstar alright where are we at here let's do a couple more just for good measure I should turn the should turn the echo back on. I was getting more comments that way. I think uh, the other video where I had uh, the echo hell for five minutes, I went back and watched most of that. I thought that was pretty funny. All right, so the good news tonight is that we are live on YouTube, which means that I should not have to go back and upload this to YouTube, which took a significant amount of time. Sorry, got to head to bed on the East Coast and got to work in the morning. Get some sleep. You got to work the weekend, huh? It's no fun. I have worked lots of weekends. I could do without working weekends for a while, but uh, yeah, get some sleep. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, the echo hell was pretty funny. If you go back and listen to it and read the comments as people are going along. All right, so with interwoven four and one with elf weave, you take your one in one chain and you make a loop out of it and then you zip it up on top and on the bottom. And I'll probably post a link to the tutorial, if I remember, in the uh, description. But that's not right. I mean, that was right, but come on. There we go. So we'll make a little strip of uh, interwoven form one and try to bridge it to this 18 gauge 316 and we'll, if that doesn't work, we'll figure out something else. Hi Daniel, good luck with the project and have fun doing it, I'm getting sleep. Lots of work tomorrow. All right, good night. <clears throat> good luck. Okay, you're still watching on Facebook. Want to give you some support here too. Thank you, Thorns Craft Studio. I really appreciate that. All right, if I remember, this is really tight. I have a coffee cup wrapped in 16-gauge uh, quarter-inch interwoven four in one and it was really a pain in the butt if I remember correctly. Alright. Getting it on the coffee cup was probably far more problematic than you know what? It might be elf weave now that I think about it. I'd have to go upstairs and look. Because this is quite tight. All right. No. All right. Come on, go 
going to place ring. This might be too tight. I may be having to take those rings out. Thorns Craft Studio is Sarah. We'll see if I can get this one in. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for all the support. All right. I mean, it's going. I'm having flashbacks to memories where I tried to do this before and it didn't work. But, you know, of course I'm still doing it because I'm wondering why it's working. And I think that's... If this works... Okay, this is super rigid right so if it works like we're not going to be able to wrap it around a bottle dang it bobby whose idea was this okay so because the only other plan i had was to do a strip of elf weave and yeah this is super tight. I don't know. I would do elf uh, interwoven four and one with eighteen gauge quarter inch rings. The only rings that I have that are even remotely close, I don't have nearly enough of to both do a bridge and make the strap. So, mm, that's okay. That, that's fine. We're, we'll turn it into a dice bag and call it a day, right? We will find other rings with which to wrap the wine bottle or make the uh, wine bottle holster out of. Alright. I mean, it's. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get some more light in here. This is going to be tough, but you know what? By golly. <coughs> it's not long enough to like try and curve around anything to even see if it will work. So if we end up taking all of this apart, don't be surprised. Hey, Josh, how you doing, buddy? How'd your live stream end up going today? I didn't get to watch all of it. That chessboard looks like it's going to be pretty cool by the time it's done. Twitch, Windstar said, also, how do you stream on multiple platforms and keep up? I'm barely keeping up. I need, like, screens in front of me, really, instead of, like, down here. But, you know. You love the colors of uh, Josh's chessboard there? Yeah. All right. 
so right before the stream, I was working on getting a logo on here, and it was supposed to be a transparent logo, and, you know, I work with images all day long, and for some reason, my software did not want to give me a clear logo with which to work, so you all get the uh, bulky white square up there in the corner, which it's nice to have a logo, you know? So I'm, I'm okay with it, but I would like something a little more professional looking, but we'll get there, you know. We're only, this is only stream number 21, right? We've just reached like legal age of streaming, which is pretty cool. 21 streams in almost two months. All of them are available on YouTube. And as soon as the, as soon as I finish the app, the uh, they will all be available on the app. Now, one of the things I want to do with that feature of the app is take a couple people's uh, YouTube channel tutorial, YouTube tutorial channels, right, and just make it so that every time they upload a tutorial, it goes right into the app. I got to talk to them about it first because. I think they'll be okay with it as they have given me permission to share the links to their tutorials already, but I don't know. So, oh, someone put something slippery on that ring. See, this is getting just ridiculously tight, but it's working, so that's what I don't understand. We'll take this patch here real quick and then try and marry it up and if we can get the 18 gauge rings in here without an issue and if we can get this to wrap around the wine bottle it might be worth leaving oh that ring doesn't want to close my arms are going to hurt after this that's fine holy comments batman going well stream is good Made decent progress and got the first row completely done today. Nice. Check out the chessboard. is going to be awesome when it's done. Heck yeah. Feel free to share a link to any of your tutorials. Your tutorials are in a tutorial list of people that have, like, tutorials, right? If you do, like, YouTube video tutorials, right, I will definitely make it so that when you upload a video to your channel, it'll go... It'll be available automatically on the app. Fingers crossed. Let's hope that works. Right? So, that way, everybody has, like, the latest video at their fingertips, you know? Whenever they're ready to go, they don't got to go search for it or nothing. Just boop on the app, and away they go, hopefully. Alrighty. So we got the piano in this week. That's been fun. It's awesome at 7 o'clock in the morning when my son wants to play piano and I'm half awake. Like, I don't want to discourage him from playing. But, uh, man. I don't... I cannot wake up to that, I'll be honest. Awesome, sounds really cool. I'm just stopping to say hi. I'm going to go play Guitar Hero with my son. There you go. Before you play COD with your daughter. Right on, man. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the support. It's a late stream. 9 o'clock is a late stream, but I can't do it any other time, right? Which is fine. You know, except people have other things to do. All right, I'm sure there's a million people on the internet that are out there. All right, that kind of conforms to the wine bottle. So we're gonna try and marry it up to this 18 gauge 316 patch real quick. And, and then we'll know, right, if we should continue to punish our hands this way 
in order to achieve, you know, I don't know, greatness. I don't know. Chainmail goodness. I got a new like. Linda Dallas is like the stream. Thanks, Linda. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Try and get the camera on my hands. All right. So we're going to use these 18 gauge quarter inch rings for a bridge. Hopefully. I'm going to line up what's what here. It may or may not work. We don't know. We're, we're going to find that out right now. Wow, did I do that? No, I didn't do that wrong. Okay, sweet. It's almost working. See that right there. Come on. Because the alternative is, right, to use these as a as a strip to make a strip out of these smaller rings, and I don't I just I don't have enough, right? I didn't I didn't even order these rings. These rings came disguised in a in a container full of uh, 18 gauge 316th rings. Um, that I got from the Ring Lord, and I have like I don't know, I have a couple hundred, but yeah, it's just gonna get too tight. It's close, it's so close, but it's not gonna work, is it? Dang it, Bobber. Well, I mean, now we know that. A 16 gauge quarter inch rings will make elf weave. Right? But it's super tight. Not elf weave. 16 gauge quarter inch rings will make uh, interwoven four in one. I'm sorry, I misspoke there. But getting to marry getting them to marry up to this 18 gauge 316 patch of Euro 4 and one is not gonna work. It's just too tight. Which is kind of annoying, because now we have to think of something. Well, we can stick with our original plan, right? Of going with these 16 gauge 5 16 rings. Because they work, right? It just tightens it up little bit more than I'd like so but we can continue with that and find out if we have enough rings and we'll go from there you know I'm, o I'm okay with that option I don't think it's the best option if I had you know a selection of all the rings that I wanted I wouldn't go with that option but seeing as how got to use what we have on hand you know it's not the worst option
Come on, get out of there. They were hard enough to get it to, it was hard enough to get the rings in. Now they don't want to let go. All right. So, we'll put that aside. Clean some stuff up here real quick. I only have that many 18 gauge quarter inch rings, which is probably enough for like a bracelet, right? Not not two strips of 16 gauge five six or uh, not two strips of interwoven four in one to trim the edge of this bottle wrap. So we will. Move forward. I have a lot of 16 gauge 516 rings. And we will just have to figure out how many more we have to add to get a, uh, to go all the way around the bottle. That is a diamond shaped 16 gauge quarter inch ring. Probably shouldn't be in that bag, but you know. What am I doing here? Yeah, there we go. Gotta get stuff on camera, you know. One day we'll have an overhead camera. One day. But for now, let's lengthen this little bit here and see if we can't get all the way around the bottle. And that'll really tell us. Uh, we should and we should have enough 18 gauge uh, 3 16 rings to finish it up. So. Hopefully, we will be all right with this uh, executive decision we've made. <coughs> so, got the piano in, got woken up at, uh, and it's not like I'm already up by seven, right? It's that he starts playing at 7 in the morning. And he presses down on the pedals so the sound reverberates throughout the entire piano. Because it makes it sound better, right? And it fills the whole house up with sound really well. And my body is just not prepared for it at 7 in the morning, is all. But I don't want to say anything because I don't want to... You know, crush whatever natural inclination for musical talent he may have. But it's a really rough way to wake up. So, huge improvement over the uh, keyboard he had, right? Huge improvement over that. I still haven't forgiven that person for giving him the keyboard. And I don't know if I ever will, to be honest. But it will uh, it will wake you up at seven in the morning. What else happened this week? Quite the week at work. It's tons of driving. Oh, you know, tons of driving, and of course, you know. Spent the work at week and then spent spent the work at week. Spent the week at work. And it was gorgeous out the whole time. The instant the uh, weekend hits, you know, bam, it's raining. But uh, I did get, uh, I had some, if you've been following me for a while, you may know the saga of the garage door springs that broke I got them from the guys that put up the new garage door springs and I put them in a bonfire in the backyard for oh probably 10 hours and I got them I finally got them out of the fire pit today right 
putting them in the bonfire was supposed to anneal them because they're they're spring steel uh, springs, right? So they're very very heavy duty stuff. And in order to cut them, you need to anneal them to make them to uh, heat them up to the point where they become soft and workable, right? So I attempted to do that by having a nice big bonfire in the backyard. May or may not have worked. I don't know. We'll find out. But in the course of this, um, I went to go open up my shed door. And we, had, we got a new shed this year. And that thing was jammed shut. I could not, for the life of me, open it up. And I was cranking on the door handle of the shed. And I heard, crack, crack, you know, some breaking wood going on. So I turn it the other way. And I'm twisting the door handle and same thing, a bunch of breaking wood sounds. So brand new shed. I just broke the handle today. I'm a little, little peeved about that because not that it's a nice handle or anything. It's just now I have to crank on the freaking door to get uh, the the shed open. But I threw the springs in the shed and we're going to cut them up with an angle grinder and we'll probably... Well, we'll throw them in the tumbler to clean them up, and we'll probably weave them into something here on stream. It's an interesting, uh, it's, it's, they're huge rings, right? Like, they're like two inch rings, so there's not a lot of them. We'll have to just make like a dangly chain of some kind. I don't know. I don't even know, like, I might have to get a vice to open and close them, so. Like we might do that. We might record that out in the garage. All right, where are we at here? Let's let's take a measurement. Are we we're not all the way around, but we're an inch. We're an inch. That is not steel. I don't know what that is. Weird. Might be might be mild steel. Some mild steel rings slipped into the into the mess here. Probably. Alright. I was pretty excited to get everything uploaded to YouTube, and now we're actually streaming on it, so I shouldn't have an issue, right? Just go back, edit the description, call it a day. I've got some uh, Ethernet power line adapters coming that will allow me to get the internet from the router to the computer through the electrical outlets instead of through Wi-Fi, which should be a lot faster, which should allow me to, to do things like stream more efficiently. So, and you know, if I need to upload a video to YouTube or upload a, an image to the website or whatever, so I'm happy about that. That should make my life a little bit easier so I won't be sitting here in front of the computer looking for stuff to do as things upload, you know. So I did that over the throughout the week. I was getting that all caught up. Because um, I kept saying to myself over and over, yeah, you know, I'll just, one of these days I'll just sit down and go do it, you know. 
And little did I know what that meant and how long it would take. So, finally got it done this week. Now we're all up and running. And the, the YouTube channel is caught up and the uh, Etsy store is online. So we're experimenting with that. All, yeah, you because know, like, if you post links to my store on Pinterest, right? Like, no, no one clicks that. That's not the audience on Pinterest doesn't go towards, you know, um, unknown sites like, like mine, right? They go for Etsy. So if I post a picture an image of a product on Etsy or with a link to Etsy rather hopefully they'll be more comfortable clicking that link I'm not running ads on Pinterest or anywhere so I have to try and get as much natural human behavior as I can right and people on like my assumption is that People on Pinterest gravitate towards Etsy more than they do standalone sites like mine. So <clears throat> I don't know if it'll work. We'll see. A little bit more here. Oh, that's also not steel. Where do those rings come from? I don't know. Now this doesn't have to be super tight, right? That's a saw cut ring. And that's a saw cut ring. Here we go. Try to keep those separate. So... Oh, where was I? Sit here. It's late. 9.48. It's past my bedtime. It's not really past my bedtime, but it's close. Oh, I remember what I was saying. Okay, so we don't need these, this strip here to fit perfectly, right? We're sliding a a wine bottle into it. We just need to make sure it fits loosely because wine bottles are going to be exchanged in and out or, you know, bottles of various spirits. Okay. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want it to fit nicely. You know, if we were making a static wrap, then yeah. We would do uh, we would do it a little bit differently. It's kind of a pain in the butt to spend so much time experimenting, right? Because you get so little done. Okay, these rings are. Like, that's close enough. We can close up this bottom strap here and it'll fit, right? Now, the fun part is putting it all together because, if I remember correctly, this is a pain in the butt. All right. And really, I should just take these out.
All right, I hope this works. As you do one side, you got to flip it over and do the other side. All right? And we may not even need to. No, we'll, we'll need to add like two more rings, I think. I don't know, we'll see. No, nope, that looks good. No, 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 it doesn't look good to me. What am I saying? Never mind, I lied. That looks good to me. Well, that was easy. That wasn't so bad at all. Huh. All right. Let's see if it fits. That's loose enough, right? I like it. I like how big this is, too. That strap, it's really... Thank you, Sarah, for liking the stream. Appreciate it. Hello, how's it going? Just stopping by because Joe sent you? Well, tell Joe we said hi. I'm not sure who Joe is, but... Thanks for sending people, Joe. All right, so now we have the diameter of our bottle. And we just gotta make sure that we have enough rings to fill this in and to extend it out, right? So let's do that now. We need a couple uh, 18 gauge quarter inch rings. How do we put this stuff away? I've got, I've got one of the Mailworks blankets right now on me because I was freezing cold when I came down here and they are so warm it is ridiculous like I'm not sweating or anything but I was cold it's getting cold here in Wisconsin and I needed uh, Cho Mama ha <laughs> I love a good pun. That was that was a nice delivery. I like that. All right. Okay. No, those are yeah. Okay. Where are we at here? 53 minutes. Oh, I see. I put that uh, patch, I put this patch we made earlier in the wrong bag. So I was like grabbing the same bag over and over again going, no, those are the wrong size rings. But they were the right size rings. Little did I know. Joe who? Still laughing at that. That's funny. Alrighty. Nope, see. These are wrong. Okay. But we found it. Before it became an issue, we found it. There we go. Right? It's hard to eyeball stuff at 9.30 at night. couple of these and then we'll get back to working on this patch filling it out a little bit
Has it really been an hour already? Nah, yeah, that's okay. Ten o'clock. Got to put the kid bed here in a little bit. And, you know, now we have a final decision on how we're going to move forward with this. So I'm kind of happy. I'm going to stream two more nights this weekend. Um, well, definitely tomorrow night. And then hopefully Sunday. Sometimes my Sunday days get away from me and we don't have time to do anything Sunday night. No streaming, you know. So, but at least tomorrow, you know, we'll work on this some more. And I love the fact that I'm getting work done on projects, finally. You know. It's been a long time coming. Uh oh. There we go. Maybe, maybe it is too tight. Doesn't seem too tight. Maybe just getting the bottle in there. Maybe it's just the right amount of tightness. All right. There we go. Okay, so we'll build a bottom for it, right? And then, whoa, freaked that camera out, didn't I? And we'll come up the top and then probably do another another uh, band up top, like right right in here. We'll close it up, put some leather straps on it, and we'll be done before you know it. What surprised me was, uh, here, have a look at my face. What surprised me was the number of streams that we did on, uh, like, the Orca Inlay and the um, Celtic Vision water bottle wrap, right? Those are, like, ten streams apiece. So we're only two or three streams into this one, and we've made good progress. I'm pretty happy with it. If you would like to support the stream, go to mailworks.com, or I think it's etsy.com slash mailworks or whatever. You can find us on Instagram.com slash Mailworks and Facebook.com slash Mailworks. Um, I'll start posting links to all our social medias and stores in the description. So, thank you everyone very much for hanging out. <coughs> and uh, I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow night. <laughs>